Welcome back to the Fit and Nerdy channel. Uh, so today I want to talk a little bit about um, a warning about a product that you probably shouldn't take, especially if you have post finasteride syndrome or are worried about having symptoms from it. Uh, so I've been noticing it on Ryan Russo's page that he took a mega dose of this. Well, he has the 2.0 product, Gorilla Shroom. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, see Gorilla Shrooms. And this has a very large dose of lion's mane in it. And uh, I will say I took it myself. Um, I took, I didn't take a mega dose, but I think I took four out of six. And this is the 1.0 formula. This is not the 2.0 formula, which has double the amount of mushrooms in it. So keep that in mind when I say this. Um, and the, like, that day and that like i like towards the end of the day i had absolutely no energy like doing anything was a freaking slog and then the next day into my workout oh my god i i had to force myself to work out like I, that is the lowest energy i've ever been in my life and then i went to bed like two hours early and then slept for like 10 hours. And finally, when I woke up, I was starting to feel a little bit more normal. And uh, yeah, and then I tried, I took this again to see if this was what actually did that. And it can confirmed, I took a lower dose, but it still like messed up my energy, something fierce. So if you have issues with things like finasteride, this is not gonna, this is not gonna agree with you. I can guarantee it. Um, so, I would definitely stay away from things that have lines made like gorilla shrooms. And another thing that I was taking that uh, I, uh, that I was definitely noticing a little bit of regression in my, uh, sexual performance. And I wasn't quite sure why is I started taking this, uh, which is mud water. Where's the, there's the label there. I was taking mud water and what is in it? Lion's mane. So, I, I was noticing, noticing some regression. It wasn't, I wasn't doing quite as well. And I'm like, oh man, am I regressing? You know, is finasteride system syndrome kicking me in the ass again? And then I started looking into Lion's Mane because of Ryan Russo's channel. And I was like, oh snap, I need to stop taking this because this has the same effect as a 5AR, a five, uh, uh, you know, alpha reductase inhibitor. So this shit is going in the trash as is the Gorilla Shrooms, because I sure as heck do not, do not want to, uh, you know, risk any of that ever again. So I would stay away from Lion's Mane products, if you, especially if you're sensitive to, uh, like, it, or you've had issues with finasteride and are having sexual symptoms from it, because this definitely was causing problems. And I noticed once I stopped taking it, all of a sudden I, st I stopped having problems. So, just saying, I would stay away from grill, uh, I would not grill, I, I would stay away from Lion's Mane type products if you're, because, man, oh, I've heard some horror stories out there. And I believe there's a lion's main recovery Reddit. So, you know, this is just like post finasteride syndrome. It affects people in the same, in the same way, like completely destroys them. So I would stay away from them. So yeah, that was just my little PSA that I want to put out there. And uh, in the meantime, stay safe.